Hello YouTube, I'm Jonah and today I'm going to transform my plain old gate entrance to a cool pergola design. As you can see, my backyard gate entrance needs a little TLC, so I'm going to give it a new look. And if you're new to my channel and you find my video interesting, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. So notice my crossbar support right over here. That's what I'm going to work on. And it looks like my fence board is going to need an extra coat of stain. And I'll be using my favorite bare redwood stain. So what do you think of my sign? My daughter Madeline painted it. She's so artistic. So the first thing I do is remove all my decorative signs and designs. Then I'll remove my cross beam support from its steel hanger bracket. But I'll be careful not to break it since I'll be reusing that same wood. Then I turn the cross beam from its flat position to its side up. There's enough pressure from both my left and right side post to keep up my beam from falling. Then I level up my cross beam so I can mark off the new position. Well, looks like it's nice and level. The bubbles between the two black lines. Then I mark off my new position. Oops, looks like I used too much pressure. Just a note to myself, next time don't use the blue paint marker. Now I'll redo it with a plain old pencil. Now that's better. Now I've got two new hanger brackets I'll be putting side by side. But I don't want the two sides that are butting on each other. I'll be cutting them off. Okay, safety first. Don't forget our safety glasses. Now I have my hanger bracket on a C-clamp. Then I'm going to bend the sides and I'm going to cut it off. So it looks like a storm was coming, so I had to put my equipment away and come back in a couple of hours. And a few hours later, I resume my project. Now I nail the two brackets side by side. Notice one of my posts has a twist, so my second cross beam will be a little bit off. Then I install the other two brackets on this post. Then I install my original cross beam back on its place. Then I take my measurements for my second cross beam. Looks like 72 and a quarter inch. 
After I cut the second cross beam, I place it beside the first one. Then I screw them together as one. This makes it twice as strong and gives me more surface to work with. So now these two beams are going to act as our barriers for the pergola design. Ok time to cut out the rafters. I'm going to cut out 24 inch rafters for a total of 8 rafters and they will be sitting on top of the barriers. Now I cut out a cardboard template for the tip of my rafters. Probably wondering why I chose that tip design. Well if you take a look at my other pergola that's what they all look like. And after I cut out the tip of my rafters, I give it a quick sanding on the edges. Alright, the rafters are looking good. Now I'll remove the barrier so I can install the 8 rafters. Well my measurements work out pretty good. The rafters will be sitting every 10 inches. Now I mark off 12 inch centers for all my rafters. And I get a nice visit from my curious little dog Lola. Now I position the centers of all my rafters between the two barriers. Then I pre-drill all my holes on all my rafters so I don't crack the wood. Then I screw one on each side, two and a half inch deck screws. Then I flip it upside down and pre-drill and screw the barrier into my rafters. And also on the other side. And with the help of my brother Liam, we install it back on top of the gate. So this is a big reason why I designed it this way. I wanted to be able to take out this design easily so when I have to move something in a backyard like a hot tub, it can be easily removed like so. Now I'll fasten all the hanger brackets to the barrier.
All right then, it's time to give it my favorite stain. Bear Premium Wood Stain, Transparent Weatherproofing, number 502 Redwood. And so because my rafters are brand new wood and the others are still old wood, I may have to put at least three coats to match the other redwood stain as close as possible. So if you find my video interesting, give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. And we're finally done. Let's take a look. And tell me what you think, comment below. Thanks for watching.